Hey, what's up guys? So I know it's been a minute since the last time I made a video. I uh, want to get back into it. Want to start making videos again, more for my entertainment than anything else. But today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of my tortoise enclosure. I have currently two cherry head tortoise. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the enclosure I have for them. I have it set up in the backyard. Um, it's South Florida. They are very hardy species. So that's why I have them out there. Sunshine, rain, you know, want to make sure that we have something, a species that's going to survive well here. So I'm starting off with them, so I want to show you the enclosure I made for them. I essentially made a planter box, uh, like a raised planter box, and then I have two of them in there. Uh, they're, you know, I got them very little, and uh, they have more than enough space. So I'm going to start growing out uh, the amount of tortoise that I can put in that same enclosure, but I need to make sure that they're going to be hardy ones. I'm also going to show you my chameleon uh, enclosure. I set up a cage already for it. I don't have a chameleon yet because I ordered it. It's on the way, but due to COVID-19, a lot of delays for shipping. So I'll have to wait for that one to get out here. Uh, but it should be getting here hopefully in about two weeks. So you'll be seeing that. But I'll show you the enclosure, how it's all set up. The whole backyard is on an automatic uh, misting system. So it pretty much mists two times a day automatically to make sure the tortoise always have that uh, habitat they need for the humidity, as well as the chameleon, because um, they are you know obviously from the rainforest and they need all that, that humidity for them to be able to survive properly. But enough talking, let's get to the video and let's show you what it looks like. Unfortunately, I am starting this video here because it is pouring in uh, Miami right now and I'll show you what it looks like, but um, yeah, let's get to the video. This is what it currently looks like in South Florida and it's been looking like this for about, I don't know, two weeks now, so it doesn't stop. So this is what the enclosure looks like. Uh, this is uh, my tortoise enclosure for my cherry heads. I made this video over the course of a couple days. Uh, basically over here, you can see me, I'm going ahead and get uh, Donatello, believed to be a male, but this is his home, he likes to hang out there. Uh, but I'm soaking him here. He kind of looks like he's, uh, I don't know, looks funny, man. And when I first saw it, I thought he was like drowning. I'm like, oh, man. But uh, that's just him drinking water. Uh, this is his way of, you know, I soak him about 10 minutes every three days or so. Um, him and April, just, you know, a little bit. And um, this, you know, they drink their water when they're soaking to make sure they keep them hydrated, make sure keep them healthy. Uh, but you can see his shells like a little more marbleized. It's beautiful. He's not, a, his head is not as red as April. April's head is a little more defined, a little more red. Uh, it's a little more beautiful in my opinion, as far as, you know, the colors go. But uh, this is him over here um, by his rock. You see that rock there is where I put their food on every single day. Uh, it's getting a little easier to clean up and as well as keeping that beak, uh, you know, filed down. They, they, if, when they go to eat, it files on their beak a little bit. So it helps out with that. And they don't get such a beak nose or, you know, because uh, naturally they do. So it helps out with that a little bit. Um, it's just keeping it more uh, so, so do. But you can see over here, he's walking around. Um, he, I, I don't know. I just like to see him walk around. It's so funny. Uh, if he, he he likes to, I don't know, he likes to hide on that little corner over there a lot. Um, he doesn't come out very much. I think April is more of a social type than, uh, than he is. He, he has to get a little bit more used to me. But these, these guys are super smart. Um, you put, the, after a couple of days, they knew exactly where the food was every single day. They knew where to go get the water. They found out their enclosure very quickly. But this is April over here. She hides under this fern all the time. She never goes to the house over there. She always goes to this fern. She digs a little hole there and she hangs out under it. Um, but I'm gonna go and soak her. But you can see her colors are beautiful. Her colors over there, um, they're so light. Um, her, she, But her head is very red. Look at what we see when you poke it out right there. Look at her head. It's a beautiful little red color. Um, her shell is very, is very light. Uh, so it's a very nice contrast. Um, she, we know it's a female because, you know, we took temperature, uh, well, the breed, and the, when we got her, they took temperature and they let us know. And that's why they, she has double mark and Don Cello only has one mark on him. Uh, she kind of looks like she's looking at him like, where are you going? He's going to go over there and go eat, um, let's get some food because they're a little hungry. I usually soak them after I soak them. I, you know, they go to their food. I don't know, the water wakes them up and gets them going. But look over here, look at her head, how beautiful it is, how red. They're just very beautiful creatures. Um, when I saw her, I, I fell in love. But uh, we named her April. Um, my kids named them. Uh, Donald Tell on April, obviously Ninja Turtles, April because she's a girl. Um, but you see them over here by the rock. They're gonna go. They go and they eat there every day. Um, they know exactly where to go. I come out in the mornings and they're waiting for me, man. They just they know where that food is. Uh, and if you see, there's a lot of shrubs over here. There's a lot of trees. I made it like that on purpose. Um, so they have a lot of places to hide, keep and stay out of the sun because, like I said, the South Florida sun is brutal. Uh, this house I made over here for specifically with the intention. See if you can see they go over here in the corner and they go inside. I made it specifically with intentions of keeping them out of the elements. If they want to get out of the sun, if they want to get out of the rain, as you guys saw in the beginning, if it is rain is brutal. Um, this is that automatic misting system I was talking about. That water bowl over there, you guys saw, 
it fills automatically twice a day, pushes out all the old water and puts in new water automatically. So I never have to worry about it. And there's two sprinklers and it uh, pretty much waters the entire, um, their entire enclosure. So that the whole thing is full of water besides their, that house in the corner. But that water bowl, it's awesome. I never got to put water for them. It just automatically fills, uh, takes out all the old water, leaves the new water. It overflows. That's how it pushes out all that old water into a very strong uh, stream that's coming out. If you see that, that flow. And this is that automatic misting system from Rainbird. Um, it mists twice a day, as you can see the times there, seven and six. Um, and uh, it does for the whole entire backyard because I have it for the trees and everything I have back there. And I love watching these guys eat. Uh, that's Donatello there. He's eating after he, he got soaked a little bit and that mister comes on. They get they go crazy. I don't know. They just wake up and they start wanting to feed. Um, I feed them a little bit of everything. Uh, and there right now they have some strawberries, some zucchini, uh, some romaine mix, some carrots. I sprinkle a little bit of... Uh, of um, calcium on it and I also have some Missouri uh, the Missouri pellets in there um, this is the the enclosure that I did for the chameleon which is not here yet but it's a big hibiscus tree and you can see that I made a partial root there to keep the the, the chameleon out of the number one out of the, the strong full sun obviously and also the elements if it starts pouring out that he has a way to uh, get out of the, the rain and, and keep himself out of that but there's two missing systems you saw there's one down there one up there which I haven't put it but I'll be, you'll be putting it soon you'll see it um, I put this reptile bark all in, in all the enclosures, uh, in the tortoise enclosure as well as the chameleon enclosure, which I'm about to do now. But it's awesome because you know it, it stays moist, it's soft, um, it's very good for the enclosures. A little pricing each bag, the big bags like that one I'm putting there. Um, it's about thirty dollars a bag, so it, I put like I don't know four bags, but I still have like half a bag left. The reason I'm filling the bottom of this one, number one, it looks nicer obviously, but number two is when I go on long trips, which I frequently travel. Um, I like to have somewhere I can put the tortoises so it keeps them a little bit safer. Um, number one, I put their food there. I don't have to worry about anything eating it. But if they flip over, what tortoises tend to flip over very frequently, you know, they're little, it happens. Um, they don't, they're don't. they not exposed to the full sun. Just, they just cooking there, flipped over. Because in this, in this enclosure that I have, um, if they flip over, they're going to be soaking it. They're going to be baking that sun for a bit. And that was the main reason. So when I leave, I put them in that command enclosure and make sure they're safe. Yes, I know, as a lot of people say, these enclosures should be fully closed. They should have, you know, so nothing can get into it, out of it. I haven't had any issues. It's been about two months. Um, they have a lot of places to hide. There's a big wall in the back. It's a, it's a community with a lot of buildings around, trees. So there's nothing they really can see them from the top too much. So I feel they're pretty safe. I think you see that corner house there. Um, it's very easy to take in and out. I, I can just pull it out. That's how I get into it, access it to clean it and get them out of there. Um, you know, I like to wake them up to get them to feed and stuff if they're not already awake. But that's Donatello. Beautiful. He's a, he's a little bit bigger. That's what we believe is a male. Um, you know, the way if you look on the back, um, that shape they have in the back, it looks like he's a male. But he, he's a lot more marbleized. Um, he's still a beautiful, beautiful tortoise. Um, and uh, they're still a little bit shy, but it's okay. But over here, I'm just filling in because pretty much, if you see that corner thing, you don't worry about that. That's just some foam I sprayed in there. Um, that uh, expanding foam to make, they make sure that they don't get out because these guys dig. I mean, they dig. Um, and they're still small, so I imagine. Um, that's why I'm, I'm filling all that reptile bark, make sure everything's, you know, really filled. It's there, And there's no, there's no way they're going to dig out of here. It's about like, I don't know, maybe three feet of um, sand and dirt down there. It's a mix between both of them to make that, that, that dirt soft and make sure it doesn't flood. Um, and it's good also um, for all that fertilization and everything. And there's, there's earthworms in here. I have probably about 50 earthworms. Um, that I've thrown in there. Um, they're not going to dig out of this. There's no problem. But this is the automatic missing system. I'm talking about all my trees. You know, that's a little bubbler one. It has it. Uh, the enclosure. It all obviously does it at the same time when it kicks on uh, twice a day. Uh, the chameleon enclosure does one down here for the trees to make sure that everything stays healthy down there. I like to make it all natural so they have natural enclosures. Uh, the, one top, the one on top there that I put for the chameleon. Um, and on throughout the entire backyard these are a little strong these are jet ones which i'm actually changing to, to misters but they didn't have in the moment and i was leaving it on a trip so i want to make sure everything had enough water and they didn't die on me um, but you just got to tweak them a little bit but regardless the ones that i have set up there on the on the fence right now they're too strong so i'm, I'm putting in the missing ones which i actually just purchased i gotta install them now um, and like i was talking about this rock as far as feeding goes as you can see you know the, the food out there while gets a little bit if they don't eat it um, i like to put a lot and i'm make sure they have enough to eat if they want it um, but after a while i need to take it out because it gets bad but it's easy to just grab, pick up, and clean it. You see, I just grab a hose and I'm cleaning here. It might be a little excessive, but I like to clean it off and make sure that everything's clean and there's nothing left, you know, moldy or anything like that. Um, and this is my trees. I, I pretty much recently put new pots. This cactus is still needs a, a new pot. All the cactus need one. 
but I put new pots in them. I like to have it. I like to I like to have my backyard, you know, try to have it natural, but still clean. Uh, I have little trees all around. This cactus needs another pot as well. Um, I just recently got these pots, but I counted it wrong. Mostly said they were house plants, or not really house plants, sorry, but low light plants. And but they all seem to be doing good out here. Um, the sun shifts a lot, like I said, so it's not full direct sun the entire day. But there is a good amount of sun for you know exposed time on it. But those trees, those uh, sorry, those chairs, I need, need to get out of there. I'm still picking up the backyard and cleaning. Uh, but it's been raining for days, so I'm, I'm doing this like in shifts. Um, but I want to have everything, you know, as natural as I can with trees, but still have it looking very clean and nice. And um, this one here got a sunburn, it looks like, and maybe a little bit too much sun. Um, but it's still doing healthy. Uh, it's doing good because you can see there's new shoots coming out of it. So, you know, and I love the trees. I think it's beautiful. And I have these little solar plants, or, uh, sorry, lights around. This one, the pot's a little too small. It's all I had at the moment. So um, I put them in there, but he's doing okay. Um, and then, you know, I got these over here and as well, the little cactus soon to replace it. But anyways, I actually got to go to work back to work now. We've been on quarantine. Um, I've been on my riding my electric skateboard to work every day, but, uh, I'm going to get back to work and, uh, see you in the next video guys.